Yo, what is up, guys? This is Troy D. Welcome back to my channel, guys. It is a beautiful Monday, guys. A nice Monday off for me. Not a lot of people actually have Mondays off, but if you are a healthcare worker, a nurse, like me we do get mondays off so today i think it's a great time to be talking about nursing guys it's been more than a year and a half before my last video about the NCLEX, about passing the boards guys and a lot of things have happened between that time and now and I think that because a lot of things happen, there's a lot of experience that happened, uh, I think it's the best time to talk about these things to do or things that you're supposed to do as a new nurse. Now, I do want to thank you guys for liking and subscribing to this channel. Now, I know for a lot of you guys and gals that saw the NCLEX video, maybe you expected more NCLEX content or more nurse content, but then you found out that this is a perfume-related channel, but nevertheless, y'all still really supported the channel all 400 plus of y'all i want to thank you guys for doing so and because of that i'm going to honor that like and subscribe that you guys did way back early on by giving you guys a lot more nursing or new nursing content on this channel now today we are going to tackle a question that's been asked of me constantly ever since that nclex video and that's basically getting a job as a new nurse with zero experience. What was my experience getting that, getting that new job? Now, obviously, it's already been a year and a half. Actually, at this point, I'm already at my second job as a neuro ICU nurse, okay? But obviously, that's not how I started. Those were not the options that were given to me in the beginning. So today, I'm gonna give you guys a good picture of what was in front of me the moment I passed the boards, the moment I passed the NCLEX, I saw my RN license and I knew I had zero experience what was given in front of me and what did I take and what are my tips for you guys. Let's talk about that today. Let's go. Now, going back a year and a half ago, guys, passing the boards, man, the NCLEX, that was probably one of the greatest things in my life, okay? It's like one of the best feelings really before that it was like how many months of anxiety and finally you know you get to let it all out and you pass the NCLEX and now you are an RN you do have that license now people can look it up you are an RN and from there guys really of course just like many of y'all man I wanted to hop on and really get a new job as soon as possible. Now, as I passed the NCLEX and I was pondering about my first job, there was this concept in my head that I knew and I thought about that eventually paid off really like right now, like it's paying off right now and I've seen it in the field. And the things that I thought about guys, I'm going to share with you so that you can consider it as well as you are getting the job. Because now that you've got your NCLEX license, you're probably just like, man, that's it. A lot of people want me, a lot of companies, a lot of hospitals want to get me because I'm a new nurse. And that is true. But now you got to think about your path. Nursing is a long-term job. This is a long-term stable job that in my opinion, you can go all the way up until your 70s and you could still be doing bedside nursing. I've seen that, okay? So this is a long-term job. But there are going to be things that are finite as you are going through this job. One thing that they tell you that you probably really don't expect is how physical the job is, especially bedside nursing, ICU nursing, step down, telemetry, maybe even med search, guys. This stuff is physical. It's physical as well. Now, there's also the critical thinking part. The thinking machine in your head is the one that's really mapping out the care for these patients. But one of those things that they don't tell you really is how physical it really is. And that's why a lot of nurses also wash out and quit after you know a few months or maybe weeks in bedside nursing because they did not expect holy crap i gotta turn that 400 300 pound patient like every two hours and i gotta do all this physical stuff they do not expect that right there so definitely here's what i want you to consider is that there will be a finite amount of your physical strength unless you really take care of yourself and maybe you're working out and maybe you've got a good diet and we do know that that's not the case when it comes to nurses right but i will say this although the job will be there and it will be sustainable until your retiring days or until you get that pension guys the thing is though your youth your strength your physical strength 
probably won't you know be as strong over the years and I do know that and so that's one of the things to consider guys if you're gonna get into like a hospital job or bedside nursing do know that it will demand some sort of physical strength physical ability to go through that job for all 12 hours of your shift so that's one thing to consider now the second thing to consider as early as now yes as early as now is your vertical development within the ranks guys okay so obviously we're not going to be stuck doing the same job forever guys right and so we want to know if our job the job that we're going to put ourselves into is going to lift us up right into another level guys or maybe you guys want to get paid more obviously and you don't want to be like in a situation where there's no raise there's no bonus <laughs> you know that sucks okay so definitely vertical development is important experience gathering of course more education that is a big thing right there and so actually when i looked into my options this was a very key thing because some of the other positions i was wasn't so sure if I was gonna get the vertical development that I wanted so if you're wondering if I got a lot of options the moment I passed the NCLEX yes I did get a lot of options and I'll give you guys all these different options that I got as a new nurse with no experience so the first one was psych that's right psychiatric hospitals those were the ones that really immediately bit on my brand spanking new resume with no experience and those uh, institutions those were the first that really wanted to hire me ASAP and I guess there's also a shortage of nurses even in that field matter of fact they really wanted me so bad that I went for an initial interview and they already gave me a schedule before I even signed up so that was like a quick way of getting me in but then because there were other options I said you know well I'll think about it definitely psych hospitals need nurses I mean especially now with the declining mental health of many past the pandemic and of course course the economic emotional problems that go with it guys a lot of depression a lot of anxiety a lot of drug use guys I mean definitely they need a lot of good nurses and I found out through the grapevine as the years pass and as I've met other nurses in the field some nurses actually like this field guys okay so maybe I could have been more open-minded but definitely this is a field that a lot of nurses enjoy the mental health psychiatric field right here now the second type of job that was offered to me right off the bat as I got out of nursing school with no experience was the sniff the skilled nursing facility guys okay that one I had maybe three or four like interviews job options where at the end they were like yeah we like you you know if you want to join in um, this one right here is a sniff and this is a sort of like a medium-sized facility guys where the nurse is actually a supervisor rather than you know a grunt <laughs> a grunt that we the grunts that that we are when we're in the the hospital bedside care you are a supervisor here and you're really handling maybe some of the rn things like maybe inserting an iv and giving certain type of meds right but ultimately in this type of scenario you have a bunch of lvns you are kind of like the boss and you're doing a lot of paperwork you're doing a lot of admits and discharges guys and this one's kind of interesting because i was going to start as the supervisor right isn't that kind of crazy like i start off as a supervisor with the director directly on top of me and that was it and then below me are all these lvns so that kind of tempted me right there being a supervisor the word supervisor because i was a supervisor in my prior job and wouldn't that be nice if i was immediately the supervisor but of course reality sunk in and i was just like yeah i would be a supervisor but it's not like I went through the grunt period, you know, it's like given to me. And so all that stress that would come with it would also go into that. And so I did not choose to go into the sniff even with that kind of temptation. But this was the closest one that really tempted me, you know, to get into that kind of job. The position of being a nurse supervisor sounded so good. But of course, I had no experience, guys. And as you know, it's been a while since the NCLEX. I mean, the experience, there's a huge gap out there. So definitely, I didn't want to do that. And the third job that was commonly offered in front of me was dialysis. That's right, dialysis. And dialysis, I don't know where you are guys but here in Los Angeles it is a big deal we do have a lot of dialysis patients here and I guess in the entire America okay and so this one this job sounds pretty easy and a lot of people that are already dialysis nurses that I know they're saying it's pretty easy guys because you have these two techs that work with you on like getting the machine ready 
and really you're the RN. So you have the RN responsibilities of assessment and maybe giving possible meds. And really I heard, you know, from other friends of mine that are dialysis nurses that, you know, it's a pretty easy job right there. So that one was tempting as well. But of course, remember what I told you guys about the vertical development. You know, that's something that I needed instinctively. And, you know, maybe I prejudged this, but as I was thinking about it, I said, well, maybe there's not going to be a lot of vertical development right here. So it was easy on the physical side, but then the vertical development. So that's what made me not choose dialysis, even though I passed the interviews with flying colors. And so in the end, my decision was to go into hospital bedside nursing as soon as I could because, you know, the time is ticking. I'm not gonna be young forever. And so I gotta get into that as soon as I can. And the thing is, guys, there are a lot of hospitals that do not hire new grads. They do not hire nurses with no experience in the hospital. So the thing that I'm gonna tell you guys, the tip I'm gonna give you guys is look out for teaching hospitals. That's right teaching hospitals, those that are always looking for new grads. And as of right now, when I look at my Indeed, there are a lot of new grad programs, even in the hospitals that I thought, hey, they would never hire new grads. And the second thing, like I said, is killing the interview. And I will make a video on how you can kill the interview, guys, because I've killed the interview every single time. But here's the thing. Here's the one tip I'm going to give you guys. When you go into the interview, you don't want to be this person that's like super duper optimistic, like a giddy person, like I cannot wait to work. You don't want to do that. Okay. You don't want to do that. The people that are interviewing you, they've been in the job for a long time, maybe over 10 years, over 15 years. They've seen people like you all the time with no experience as a new nurse. And they know that, Hey, this job is heavy okay this job is heavy and of course you're so optimistic you know you're gonna you know accept anything and you're like man i can't wait to do this but trust me guys the moment you get into training the moment you get into the floor and start handling patients especially if like you're in county like me oh Dude, I mean, that might just break you within a few days or even a few weeks. For the entire time I've been an RN, I've seen so many new grads quit within less than a month, okay? Or maybe a month, month and a half, less than a month, they're done. They quit because, you know, the fact of the matter is the job is heavy. It is heavy. It is stressful, okay? And so that's one of the things you want to point out on your interview, that's the golden nugget I'm gonna give you guys, is that you gotta tell the people interviewing you that you acknowledge that this job is heavy. You acknowledge that it's gonna be tough. There are gonna be times where you might wanna break down, but you are going to go through that. You're gonna push through that. You're gonna have better time management. You're gonna work on your skills to really get through that kind of stress, that kind of workload, and that is the golden thing that guaranteed all these employers do wanna hear. It's more realistic than being this new grad and you know saying, you know, I'll do everything. I'm so excited to be a nurse because trust me guys, bedside nursing is no joke. You will get broken down, you will have bad days. And what you wanna tell your employers is that you're gonna do your best to make sure you can pull through those bad days. So with all those factors in mind and all those offers in front of me, dialysis, psych, sniff, I eventually chose to go with bedside nursing at a teaching hospital, guys, okay? So there are a lot of teaching hospitals in my area, and so I chose this one hospital, and I was really glad because, you know, because it's a teaching hospital, they were very patient with me, relearning the skills that I forgot during clinicals, because as you guys know, with my NCLEX video, it's been a while. So I had to really relearn everything, just like the NCLEX, and my preceptor and the folks over there were so nice in really guiding me, you know, step by step into this process. And so I was able to assimilate and gain experience and gain patient experience, bedside experience, hospital experience that eventually led to today, okay? So that's what I can say right there. If you wanna get into the bedside guys, you know, definitely it can be done, but then there are also great options out there. It really depends on what you're looking for. I'm just sharing mine, the things that were important to 
me, the factors that I had to look into. And you know, that eventually led me to this decision. Now here's a factor that most people don't consider and it could be a waste of time if you don't consider it. And that's distance, okay? It's the driving distance from your home to your prospective work. That is definitely super important nowadays. Number one, because of the gas prices and the gas prices rising to these crazy levels are going to affect you, okay? Because in the beginning, when you're a new nurse, you're not really earning a lot of money, guys. And so the drive, the stress of going through the drive before and after work, going through traffic, that will affect you guys physically and mentally. And number two, of course, it's gonna affect your wallet. Okay, it's gonna affect your wallet. So do consider the drive when you are considering your options. If there is a job that is at the top of your list, maybe you like it that much and you see yourself really progressing in that job, but it is an hour or a 45 minute drive, guys, then definitely consider that though, okay? So if you are willing to drive that far, go through all the traffic, there must be some sort of reward as you're doing that or else you'll quit and it'll be a waste of time because you have to go through all the training to even become a regular there, right? So it's gonna waste a lot of time. Make sure maybe you're compensated, maybe the pay is maybe a bit higher or maybe discuss if you know there are you know, options that will raise your uh, income at some point, maybe pull in extra shifts. But definitely the distance between home and work, I've seen a lot of nurses really quit because of that like long distances a lot of stress a lot of money being lost on the gas that is a factor for sure okay so that is it that is my video on getting your new job as a new nurse with no experience guys hopefully the tips that i gave you guys the factors that i dropped you guys will consider when getting a new job guys and let me know in the comments below if you chose those other options that i didn't choose and how did it turn out for you guys i'm sure it went really well and if you didn't like bedside nursing let me know in the comments below if you quit because it was so hard physically it was a long drive it was stressful let me know in the comments below guys so right now i will make this video part of my nursing playlist and i do promise you guys and gals that i will make more videos like this for you guys i'll put it on this playlist guys and if you want me to make more nursing videos just comment below as well and i'll see you guys on the next video god bless take care have a great week